Luke Cage is a is a paradox. You know, it's a paradoxical. He was a paradoxical character. Um, and as a child, I, I liked him, uh, but I really truthfully liked Wolverine more. You know, I, I suppose I was supposed to identify with Luke Cage uh, as this young African American. But there were things about the character that didn't connect with you know what I found most interesting about superheroes. Um, which you know were like the the world that they lived in, where they were confronting these huge evils, and you know there were always these grand ideals saving humanity. You know, whereas Luke Cage, Power Man, he had a much more mundane set of problems. You know, like I remember an issue where he was trying to figure out how he was going to pay the rent on his office, and you know that wasn't the escape that I was looking for. <laughs> As a young as a young person, it it, it didn't. Uh, and as I got older, um, I kind of became more critical. On the one hand, I appreciated, you know, this character, you know, existing. And I remember reading, uh, you know, Luke Cage, Power Man, uh, the Black Panther, and you know, the Black Falcon. He didn't have his own uh, title, but I remember thinking about the three of them in tandem, uh, and they didn't really seem virtually omnipotent like the other characters were or, you know, having this kind of immortal stance. Uh, now, you know, for Luke Cage, you know, the fact that he comes by his powers uh, in prison, you know, and, you know, he's fighting uh, alongside, you know, a C-list hero, Iron Fist, you know, um, who's his kind of partner. and. You know, there's some other things that are questionable now in retrospect uh, with him, you know, fighting in the yellow silk shirt and always his yellow silk shirt getting torn up, you know, by the villain and, you know, him being irate about the fact that his shirt was torn. Uh, looking at it now, I can see that that was kind of a nod to the cool, the kind of cool aesthetic of the black exploitation era. Like, you could absolutely see something like that happening, you know, in the black exploitation films or whatever. But somehow, another that, that, you know, that translation just kind of, and when it came in the form of comic books, that translation diminished the character in some way. Uh, you know, and, and at the same time, I thought that, um, you know, the fact that this was, uh, you know, you know, this black man who was out in some way kind of trying to be heroic and trying to stop, you know, uh, some form of, form of villainy, you know, it was, it was moderately interesting, you know, modestly interesting. Uh, and truthfully, I find him, the character, more interesting now than I did then uh, as a child.